Hi guys, my name is Stephanie Davies and today I want to share with you a little bit about my story and my journey as a beach body coach. So a little about me, um, I was born and raised in the beautiful Portland, Oregon. Um, raised by a rad single mom who worked her butt off and um, taught me a good work ethic and you know really instilled in me that I could go after my dreams and do what I wanted in life. Um, but that I was going to work really hard doing it. So um, she supported me even in my, you know, Aquarius grasshoppery ways. Um, my entire life, I've never really felt like I fit into, you know, what I was supposed to do. You know, I was in high school and I was thinking about not being in high school and I fit in, but I just felt like I needed to do something different. So um, I left high school early. I graduated um, by taking college classes at night, and I loved school. I loved college so much that um, I stuck with it for seven years and got my degree, but um, it was such a cool experience. I learned that I loved to teach and learn about people. So my bachelor's is in psychology, so I got to learn about all kinds of things and reasons that people act certain ways and why I act certain ways. Um, and I had an amazing mentor during college, um, and I was a teacher's assistant for him. And I remember being in school and thinking, you know, what am I going to do when this is done? I was a waitress. I got a job as a waitress at a lovely chicken wing establishment when I was 18. And it just was what I did. Um, I was a waitress for, you know, close to 10 years, probably. And it was easy, but um, it wasn't fulfilling. And I definitely felt under stimulated and, you know, a little bit embarrassed at times when I'd see people come in, you know, wherever I was working at the time. So I worked through college and um, I just will never forget, you know, that feeling as school was coming to an end and my teacher who was my mentor telling me over and over again, like, you know, there's just some things that you never really forget. People saying they have a huge impact on you and he had said that, you know, in this arena of wanting to help people, especially in the field of psychology. You know, if I had gone on to get my master's and wanted to teach or become a therapist, whatever it was, that I was going to have a job that I loved that didn't pay very well, or I was going to have a job that sucked my soul and it would pay well. And so I kind of accepted that and I thought, man, you know, like that sucks. I, I just want to help people but I want to have a good life too. Um, you know, I want to own a house and I want to travel. And so, um, it was at the end, you know, college was coming to an end and I didn't really know what I was going to do. I'd been working, you know, still as a waitress all through school and hated the idea that I would finish school and still be there. And so it was right about that time that, um, I was approached by a family member um, about a really awesome opportunity to join um, their real estate team. And it kind of was that really exciting, um, everything's coming together, you know, I'm done with school, I'm going to transition right into this big girl job, and things are great, you know. So, um, it was really neat. I mean, my whole life, I have seriously been the type of person that drives by, you know, like, office buildings. And I'm like, how do you even get a job there? Um, I've just never really felt like that was my path. And then here I was in this brick building, you know, working my butt off as a realtor and an assistant to a really busy real estate team. And um, it was exciting. And I finally got to leave my job as a waitress. And, you know, it felt good. And um, I thought maybe that that, that was going to be something that would give me the freedom that I still felt I needed. I could have my tattoos and, you know, have a flexible schedule and make some money to support, you know, the family that I wanted to have in the future. So um, then our family started a little bit earlier than we had planned. And I found out I was pregnant um, 
it was probably, I mean, it was like two weeks after my husband and I got married and maybe six months into this job um, with my family. So um, there was a lot of pressure. I had a lot of pressure on me to step up and kind of assume um, this role on our team, our real estate team that would um, let, you know, my family that had been working really hard start to take some time off. So there was just, there was a lot of pressure on me to, um, to enjoy that role and to really step into it. And so um, when I found out I was pregnant, I was terrified and um, it was just, it was really crappy timing. Uh, because my husband and I were great and we were happy, but I couldn't imagine keeping up with that demanding schedule while having a family. And I've always worked really hard. I've always um, gone after whatever training or, um, you know, extra certification I could. Like, I'm hungry to, to work and to learn. And I never thought that um, when I had my baby, I never really thought that I would ever want to be at home. It just never crossed my mind. So I stuck it out with the real estate job through my pregnancy. And it was a really crazy time for my husband and I. We moved a ton because we just moved into a tiny apartment. We found out we were pregnant. So we moved out of there. And we ended up moving five times when I was pregnant. And that on top of this stressful job that, um, you know, was day and night, every single day, seven days a week, um, led me to, you know, I gained 60 pounds when I was pregnant. I felt like crap. Um, you know, really compromised um, the health of my pregnancy. I had a specific birth plan and it was a huge uh, lesson in letting go and that I don't have control over everything. But it didn't help that I wasn't in a healthy place. And, you know, I was grabbing a bagel at the office and just always eating on the go and not really knowing what was going to happen when this baby came. Um, my daughter was born the end of May. And summer is like the craziest time in real estate. The days are long. So people, you know, want to be out looking at houses like they should be because they're excited. But that to me was just meant time away from my family. And um, so my daughter was born and I needed to be back at work in a few weeks, like I think four or five weeks. Um, and that was just where things started to get really rough because I had this person that I couldn't leave and my husband worked a crazy schedule too, um, hours all over the place. So us trying to figure out how we were going to see each other, you know, and maintain our family. It just wasn't going to happen. His job has our benefits and he had been there for eight years. And even though, you know, it wasn't a crazy high paying job, um, it was, the one we were going to choose to stay with. So I made um, the really difficult decision to leave my job. I tried for a few months to leave it, but it just kind of, there was just a day that came that everyone realized that it just wasn't going to work. So um, thank God for the support of my husband because it was a really, really, really hard choice. Um, I was working with my family and those, uh, those relationships suffered. So, um, but I had to make the decision for my family and, um, we did it and it was really scary. I had no plan. Um, I had always been the breadwinner. So, um, it was really, really, really scary, but as a mom, you just get those moments sometimes where you're like, no, this is, this is what I have to do. So I was traumatized kind of from this experience and the thought of what the hell am I going to do moving forward? Because we can't just survive on my husband's income, but I can't even think about a job right now. 
So I took a couple months. Um, we had some money in savings, um, even though we weren't able to cover our bills. I mean, it was really, really, really bad for a few months um, after I left my job, but it was just the price that we had to pay to stay together. Um, I couldn't have sustained that pace and taken care of my family and kept us together. So for me, um, the financial disaster that followed was worth um, the health and the strength of my family. So I'm sitting here with my baby, no idea what I'm going to do with my life. And um, I started to nanny for a few families just to get us by. And then I found myself back at that place again where I felt like I was just meant to do more than this. And there has to be a way that I can do this. I can do more with my life um, and still be an awesome hands-on mom. Um, I didn't know how that was going to happen, but I just, I just had a feeling. I just, I needed to do more. So um, it was about that time that um, I remember seeing my coach page start to post about, you know, getting healthy. And like most of us, I think, you know, at first we're really confused and we don't know what's going on. And I remember I inquired about a challenge group and I couldn't afford it. Um, you know, 150 bucks to us at that time was like totally not attainable. So I told her I couldn't and I was fine. You know, our relationship and the communication was open and I continued to watch her and just kind of like, you know, I just didn't really understand still what was going on. And then I saw one picture of Paige at Summit um, which is, you know, the yearly, um, training and get together that's in Vegas. And I saw her one simple picture of her and, um, her coach, Stephanie and her coach Brandy. Um, and it was done. I literally was like, I have to be there. And it was at this time last year that they were there and I saw them and they looked healthy and vibrant and alive. The mailman's walking up right now. If he ruins this for me, I swear to God. Toby, please. <laughs> okay, so, um, you know, I saw them, and they were beautiful, but more than that, like, they were talking about being moms at home, but then they're in Vegas in these cute white dresses, and they're making an income, and they're happy, and they're connected. Like, that's what I was missing. Um, my daughter was almost a, or she was a year old and, you know, being at home with a baby isn't easy. It, there's zero stimulation or anyone to talk to. And so I was just kind of reaching that point where I needed more. Like I had always been a goer, you know, go, go, go. And so it was, it was just time. So I met up with Paige after she got back from summit and, um, I tried to talk myself out of coaching. I just felt like there's no way, you know, there's no way these girls are getting trips paid for and that they're really doing this because what, just over these workout programs, you know, I thought it was crazy, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like I could not stop thinking about it. So I talked to my husband about it and, um, he, you know, gave me the go. We were going to do it, even though we couldn't even really afford for me to get started. But it was kind of my last chance. Um, one of the families I worked for as a nanny was going to be on maternity leave. And it was like back to work time was really starting to, um, the countdown had begun. So uh, I signed up on July 3rd last year and I promised my husband that like if I was going to do this, I was going to do it. Like there was no messing around. If someone had made this a successful business for themselves, I was going to make it happen. And so I started, you know, not having any idea what I was doing. Zero fitness background. I'd never used a beach body program before. Um, but I saw what it was doing to people's lives and I saw the potential to help people get healthy and to help people get financially fit. And I just, I had to run with it. So I got my, um, I got my challenge pack and I was so excited and I rocked out some results with, 
um, Shakeology and Slim and Six, and then T25. And I was just hooked, you guys. Like, I remember being so jacked up that I thought I was like freaking people out because I was just so excited. I felt so good. I felt like a fog had lifted that had been hovering since I had been pregnant. Uh, so I just started to share my journey and had no idea what I was doing or how to run a business on social media or, you know, really how to help people during this time when I was helping myself, but it just slowly started to grow. And as it did, I just became more and more in love with this business. I, um, started to grow a really awesome team. And within like two months I had gone, um, gone diamond and felt really good about where things were headed. And now here I am almost a year in this business and my team is incredible. Like this team is so rad and I get to hang out with them, you know, weekly for my girls and coaches that are here in Portland and connect with them daily while not missing a minute with my daughter. Um, and that is just the coolest thing. I, you know, before I joined was at a point where I just didn't have a lot of hope for the future. And um, I wanted to be surrounded by people that wanted more out of life and that were just on fire. And that's what these people are. These coaches that are, that are on our team and a part of our organization are, just the cream of the crop, people that want to help people and want more out of life. And I think that it's so cool that we have this opportunity to have something that's so outside of the box, but that has such huge potential um, to grow into an amazing business. So here I am, 11, almost a year, 11 months, almost a year into the business, and um, it's totally blown my mind. Uh, just a couple days ago, my husband was able to quit his job, like quit his full-time job because we can cover his income with my beach body income and pay for benefits out of pocket and have all of our bills automatically withdrawn out of our account. And my phone isn't ringing off the hook with creditors and people calling me and I have hope for the future that we will be able to buy a house and we will be able to pursue our passions and be present with our kids and show them that they can do whatever they want to do. And that part of this job is being healthy. Like you have to work out, you have to take care of yourself. It really is just the dreamiest thing ever. Um, I'm doing a really poor job of eloquently portraying what it is, but um, that's the beauty of this job. Here I am, it's nap time, I need to take a shower, but um, I wanted to tell you guys my story. So um, if coaching is something, you know, that you've thought about, or you're a brand new coach, you know, just know that um, this opportunity is here for you, and it's up to you to build, but that um, you can do more than you can even imagine. I'm going to be sitting here this summer with my husband home so he can work on himself and his dreams. Um, and I'm just going to be working here, you know, enjoying my life, gardening and taking my kid to the park. And you can have that too. So um, thank you for listening. And um, like I said, you know, don't give up on your dreams. Go after them. And if this is something you're interested in or you just started, give it your all and you'll be really amazed by what you can do. So have a good day, guys. Thanks.